I am honored and privileged to welcome all of you to Uganda on the behalf of government, but particularly on the behalf of the Ministry of ICT and the National Guidance. And as a country, we are honored to host the 2024 International Telecommunications Union Symposium for Regulators, GSR 20. 24, and we want to appreciate and thank ITU for choosing Uganda to be the third country to host this important symposium here in Africa. I think we have had two countries. This is now the third time we are hosting it in Africa. And we want to thank ITU for considering Uganda as a host. Uganda has been a committed member of the ITU since 1963 and has actively participated in the activities of the union at technical, policy, and governance levels. As we all know, ICTs have demonstrated their capacity to accelerate socioeconomic transformation. They have a huge potential to boost productivity make governments more efficient, businesses more competitive, and institutions more effective. And therefore, where we stand today, we cannot do away with the need to integrate technology in whatever we do. The overall theme of this year's GSR is charting the course of transformative technologies for positive impact. And this aligns very well with a global desire to accelerate the achievement of the SDGs through ICTs. Uganda's national strategy is similarly focused on achieving our socioeconomic development goals through leveraging on the technology. We recognize that the digital landscape has evolved rapidly largely driven by the innovative technologies such as artificial intelligence, blockchain, virtual reality, internet of things, among others. And these technologies have transformed the digital ecosystem, affecting the way businesses are conducted and how services are delivered as well as consumer patterns. While we celebrate the transformation, this transformation, we are also cognizant of the challenges it places on the regulatory landscape. And therefore, we are happy to be here as regulators to share experiences, to pick lessons, and learn from each other. Uh, distinguished delegates, we are excited that the GSR provides a platform where all thought leaders, regulators, industry players, and other key ICT stakeholders converge to dialogue and set the policy and regulatory agenda that will guide the global digital industry. And therefore, we welcome Youth Kampara and expect very fruitful deliberations over the next few days. Let me say that today we speak of the fourth industrial revolution, meaning we have had three revolutions, the first, the second, the third, now the fourth, that is characterized by emerging technologies. Uh, my brothers and sisters from Africa acknowledge that we have a huge digital divide between the global north and the global south. Even within the context of the south-south collaboration, we do have that gap. And the, our plea as leaders in the African continent is that we should work with everybody, and I'm happy that we have this global symposium where we can reflect on how to bridge that gap. Africa has been 
maybe for birth of, for lack of a better word, maybe lagging behind in terms of these revolutions. And uh, this challenges us to not only move fast, but run in order to catch up with the rest of the world as we embrace technologies. When you look at the map of Africa, we don't have it here, Your Excellency. The map of Africa is shaped as a question mark with Madagascar as a dot down. That means our mother continent, Africa, is asking us a question. How do we move fast? How do we run to ensure that we integrate technology in our day-to-day -day programs in order to catch up with the rest of the world in order to bridge that gap that it does exist. And indeed, many governments have put in place ministries and departments in the charge of digital transformation, and we need to work together at the continent level, but also within the global framework to ensure that we realize these key objectives of integrating technology in our programs. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the government of Uganda has prioritized the digital transformation as expressed in our national development plan number three, and also as a ministry, as a sector, we are guided by a digital transformation roadmap that identifies key priority areas that include, among others, digital infrastructure and connectivity, areas like digital skilling and literacy, cyber security, data protection and privacy, entrepreneurship and business process outsourcing, among others. And we are committed to ensuring that ICTs and technology in general remains a priority and an integral part of the interventions that we pursue as a government and as a country. We look forward to this year's set of best practice guidelines. I am aware that various contributions have been received from several countries, regional regulatory bodies, industry players, the academia, and various key stakeholders. We thank you for partnering with the ITU to build into this body of knowledge that continues to define the way we set up our programs and also ensure that we integrate ICTs in our development agenda. I would like to once again thank the ITU Secretariat for the good work that you continue to do and the support you extend to various countries, including our own here in Uganda. I also want to thank UCC for the good work that you do as a body that regulates the communication sector. And uh, as a government, we pledge to continue supporting UCC and also work closely with the ITU to ensure that we make progress. Before I invite our chief guest, let me repeat what I said yesterday for the delegates who were around, that you are welcome to Uganda, the power of Africa. The power of Africa is not our own creation, but the, the former prime minister of Great Britain toured the all of Africa I see my brother from Tanzania agreeing with me. And that when he went back to Great Britain, he wrote and said, of all the places that I went to, Uganda is the power of Africa. So welcome to the power of Africa. <laughs> so sometimes to the annoyance of our brothers and sisters from Africa, we sometimes proudly say, you haven't been to Africa, not until you've been to Uganda. So welcome to Uganda, welcome to Africa. And we are happy to be hosting all of you. 
This morning I had a discussion with the Secretary General of ITU and we're coming to an agreement that we may advise that we may have to change your itinerary and extend your stay in Uganda in order for you to explore the beauty so that when you go back and you also write, you indeed confirm that this is the power of Africa. And then she advised that for those who have maybe busy schedules, then we agree that in the next three to six months you come back to Uganda. So we encourage you to visit Uganda beyond Kampala so that you enjoy the beauty of this country.